I would be so scared sometimes because yeah. like, I don't know who's mm -hmm. there. But like, here, you're being tested. Hello! This is this chill, right? right? Get off your phone! First facing up. Hello, I'm with my college friend! Okay, why don't you start with the story of how we met? I didn't know who Katie was, but a lot of people kept telling me like, Oh, there's this really famous like YouTuber in our class. Wow! And she has like, 150,000 subscribers, <laughs> and she's such a big deal. And like, I kept hearing her name like everywhere. Crazy. And then, people started like, just mentioning her so much where I was like, oh my god, like, who is this girl? Like, why does she know so many people? Like, she must be so stuck up to have this kind of like presence on campus. A girl that I was living across from, with she introduced me to Katie, was like, oh, like we should all grab lunch. So we grabbed lunch one day, and then Katie is like the most down to earth, like kind wow. person in the world. So and I was like, sweet. wait, this is not who I thought this was. <laughs> How do we get close? Was it through entrepreneurship, designing adventures? And then I just like remember running into you at the airport, and that was yes! like the moment I was yes! like, I'm so happy that you're here. You're stranded in an airport because yeah. like the flight to Ithaca yeah. was like what delayed. Anyway, so I haven't done a Q and A in a while. It would be fun to actually get different people on my channel. Yeah. Anyways, I think one thing we can start with off is like what your experience like coming to Cornell later is like because a lot of people do ask and they worry about transitioning and then i always reassure them i don't know i feel like it's just i valued cornell so much more when i got Aww. here like i think my experience in my school before like i didn't have like an engineering college i was really curious about it but i didn't have any opportunities and then after coming here i was like oh i want to join this this and this and like i really had a clear goal of what i wanted to do just because i didn't have the opportunities before so i feel like it made me value everything so much more and that's why i love transfers too or like people who came later is like they really treasure being at cornell because they were at a different school and they know the, the difference i felt pretty good about it i was actually really really stressed when it first happened i was actually really disappointed as privileged as i was to get into cornell i was also like wow like i spent 12 years you know doing education like in school and like working so hard and like, I still didn't get the result that I wanted to get, mm. technically. But like, literally, I think a week after that, I was like, wow, I'm actually so privileged to like say that, like, be disappointed about this, right? I didn't really know what to do in the fall, I would say, for the most part, but it ended up being good. Before you I, came here. Yeah, like before I got here. It ended up being a really big gift, I think, in terms of like personal development and just like figuring out how I operate as a person. But then when I got here, I felt like very at peace. And so it was like, Rather than me trying to like fit in at a college, it was more like trying to figure out how does this like college experience fit into my life. Oh, I agree with that. Before coming here, like I had that time to really think and like reflect. And then when I came here, like I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I want another thing is like, what is Cornell like now compared to, I don't know, before? Because you actually were here last semester. You convinced yeah. us to come back here. Yeah, I did. I actually you did. did. I did. And, I, and I'm glad to be back here. Yeah. I feel like last semester, it was definitely like very gloomy. Mm. Or at least in my experience, because like a lot of my close friends are international or like they just didn't come back. <laughs> I know. And just like getting used to everything with all the restrictions, the testing, and then like a lot of online courses because like now they're like having in-person classes, but like last semester was all online. Transitioning to that, feeling lonely and like not having a support system. And then also because international, right? So my parents are like 12 hour time difference away and just, I don't know. Nobody to contact. So I feel like that was last semester, but we pulled through. I feel like I got so much yeah. peace of mind when I came here and started yeah. doing testing. Yeah. I feel like even at home, right? Like you have your, I have my parents and my support system at home, but like even when I drove places and like went through fast food, I would be so scared sometimes because yeah. like I don't know who's mm -hmm. there. But like here, you're being tested, and on top of that, you know everyone around you's being tested. Yeah. And like if there is a problem, then like Cornell handles it. Mm -hmm. And so like you don't have to like you still wear a mask, you still like try to social distance as much as possible. But like at the end of the day, you know you're safe and you can still see your friends, and it's like fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But for real, like shout out to Cornell staff though and everyone, yeah. even like the, the Greater Ithaca region i think they've been doing really well everyone here is like ridiculously lucky at like how the university handled it yeah compared to other universities i think we yeah, did, like, yeah. Really i know no one believed it that first you're like oh, oh gosh, man Dude, i was hoping for that reason i know like, i didn't believe it was gonna work i, I thought know was gonna get i was pretty wrong. pessimistic about it too mm -hmm. yeah Okay, what are your three favorite things about Cornell? Oh. Number one, people. I feel like that's like easy cop out one, but like there's other question I was like, would you do Cornell again? Like, <laughs> yeah, like I feel like that's an obvious answer, but like it's because of the people. Mm. Um, and I feel like every college, like you can technically have those people, but I feel like people here are very 
unique. We're all like in it together um, because we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, no, seriously, wow. that's like, yeah, I agree. It's like you have to lean on your community and everybody knows that coming in here, yeah. so that's how it gets really close. I really like the nature. I think it's under. I was gonna say the nature is so nice. It is like yeah. well, now that we've been able to slow down. Yeah, definitely. I like really appreciate it. Yeah, and it's beautiful. Like the winter, even that's growing on me, <laughs> despite my like dry skin. Yeah, like yesterday when I walked out of my apartment at like 12 a.m. Right, I just like stared at the snow, just like falling in the building. It was so pretty. It is. Yeah, dude, I go to the like cast room sometimes and by the bridge, it just kicks mm. snow. Yeah, and it looks like fairy dust. Aww. Literally, yeah, it's, it's it so does. So cute. I I feel like it's just like sitting on the slope of West Campus. Oh, 100%. Like it's so nice. Yeah. I, I like going there alone and just like sitting there and just watching the sunset. It's so yeah. relaxing mm -hmm. and just like thinking. Yeah. I've definitely just like lie down on the slope before and I would never do that back home. Oh. I'd be like, oh no, worms, like cockroaches, oh, right. like no, no, no. But here it's like, my life is a movie. I'm the main character. <laughs> I was just thinking this the other day. Like when I was walking and it was snowing, yeah. I was like, I feel like such a main character right now. <laughs> I really like the architecture school. Oh, oh it's yeah. so pretty. It's so pretty. I love the Korean store, So Poon. That is my favorite oh, restaurant. Literally. Yeah, that's a hot take. Better. I love kimbap. It's a thing like I grew up in like third grade and I'd always ask my Korean friends for their food. And now I can just buy it. Yeah. Hey, I know the guys. Hey, yo, Oishibo, if you're watching. <laughs> Oh, just let me know. Open. Let me know. You know, I'm in your store every other oh day. My God. <laughs> I feel like you actually are. Some people ask me, like, how do you think about Cornell? Like, are you a fit? Like, I don't know if I'm a perfect fit for Cornell. Yeah. I don't but, even know what the fit of Cornell is. I think there's like a specific stereotype. That's true. But I don't know. Sometimes I guess I don't feel like part of the majority mindset. Maybe because also I'm an international student, so sometimes I do feel like. My thinking is a bit different, but I think a lot of people's thinking is different, and that's what I feel like. It's also. a very diverse. Range yeah, of. exactly. Yeah. I feel like when we're applying to like colleges, a lot of like high schools will tell us that every college has its own distinct like, personality, right? And they'll pick based on fit. So you should like do your best to have your numbers up, and then like your essay and your personality will really get you in. But in reality, if that was true, then like the same person wouldn't get into like Columbia or Harvard and Yale and Cornell. Like mm -hmm. they are all very mm -hmm. different schools. Yeah. But within the university, I feel like people have like certain types, like organizations have types mm -hmm. of people. And That's true. That's some true. kind of culture fit. But like across the entire school, like, there is a lot of diversity and that contributes to like some of the good parts about Cornell, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but one thing I do always feel weird about is the fact that like I haven't applied to internships before. And I know when I talk to you guys about it. <laughs> And I was like, I really have not been part of that world. And you were like, yeah. you really didn't apply to anything. I was like, no, not at all. Wait, like, I said that. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> really. What's it like being at Cornell in the pandemic? Testing twice a week, masks, socially distancing. Um, oh, you can still study at every place. I feel like it's better actually to talk about like what mm -hmm. is not normal because Cornell is Oh yeah, that's normal. a really good question. Yeah, that's true. Like, I think most things are normal. The masks is like, I would say probably the biggest thing. And the testing yeah. twice a week is like the other biggest thing. But like when you go to like a study hall or like a building to go and like work and stuff, for the most part, it's like pretty normal. The only thing is like there's not people gathered around one table. Yeah, anymore. it's like very yeah. spaced out. It's pretty spaced but out. But it's pretty loud. Like I went to Terrace earlier today and it was loud. Other things that are different, well, there's no in-person classes. I mean, not like all your classes are in-person. Most of your classes are online. Yeah. There's exactly. actually a large portion of in-person labs though. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of the TAs are doing like in-person training. Oh, all student org activities are yeah. online. And yeah. from experience, it is a like, it's such a hassle to get yeah, anything in person at all related to student orgs. What are the best winter jackets? Or just like in general, how to survive winter? Because you don't come from a cold place. I don't no, I do not. I don't come from a cold place either. <laughs> yes. Actually, I don't know. Shanghai is like, they still winter though. Okay, yeah. let's hear it. Um, okay, so uh, from Texas, how do you survive in a cold place? I feel like I actually went a little bit overboard. When I first got here, I feel like I bought a lot of like thermals that were really good for like wearing oh under clothing. I really only needed them when I started hitting like the tens and ten and like under Fahrenheit. <laughs> I feel like other than that, it's been pretty easy to just wear like hoodies and a parka. Mm. Dude, true! I actually came here in only this shirt that is true. and my jacket. Yeah, global warming is happening. It's like 30 degrees in Ithaca, but it's like 5 degrees in Dallas. So. Yeah, oh my gosh! I've been, dude, all the podcasts are talking about that. Like yeah. the winter. Yeah. Sending love to Texas. I miss you, Texas. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. Do you guys have anything else to say? This has been Zane, Angela, and Katie, and you're watching Katie's channel. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys!
guys, please subscribe. If you're still watching, then you need to smash that like button. And uh, subscribe. And and comment down below. <laughs> what's your favorite thing about Katie? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> also comment your favorite type of tea. Ooh, my favorite yeah. tea? Probably green tea. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I like English breakfast. Oh, I love jasmine. Oh, I, I love, love English breakfast. breakfast. I love jasmine. Yeah. And oolong. Yeah. Like too. Thanks for joining me finally on my channel. I legit thought like you guys would never see you next week with another new video. Bye! Thanks.